Hi, hi, it's Julia Tabeth here, Certified Holistic Nutritionist at rawsomehealthy.com. And today's video is for you ladies, although gents also need to be involved in this process. Today, we are talking about fertility and how to boost your fertility naturally, as well as the best foods to eat and what foods not to eat, to experience that healthy and glowing pregnancy that women really dream about. So infertility is quite a big problem in our world. About 6 million American women experience it. And infertility is when you've been trying to conceive for about a year without any success, so without experience pregnancy or without going through full-term pregnancy. It's actually six months for women who are 35 and older. And in the UK, one out of seven couples experience problems with their fertility. So that's about three and a half million people. That's a lot. So if you are one of these women, if you've gone through frustration with your fertility, you know what it's like. You know the whole range of emotions that you go through on a day-to-day -day basis as you're trying to conceive. So anger, frustration, sadness, hopelessness, this feeling that you just cannot do the what, what you're here to do can really, it can really bring you down, it can bring a lot of women down. Okay, so let's say that you wanted to find a solution to your fertility issues and you went to a doctor and, you know, you, uh, you asked for your options. So usually the doctors will put you on some kind of hormonal pills. They will probably offer surgery to, to go into your uterus and try to remove blockages or they will offer things like IVF. Now, in case of IVF, unfortunately, it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get pregnant. And with IVF, the chances of you getting, getting conceiving a child is only about 40%. Plus the cost of it is about twelve to $15,000. And the frustrating thing is that women have to do more, quite often more than one IVF in order to get pregnant because it's just 40%. The good news is that you have the power to influence your fertility and by putting the right foods into your body, by correcting the health issues that you're experiencing and also by living a healthy lifestyle, you can absolutely help your body conceive a healthy child. So how can you boost your fertility with a plant-based diet? Well, first let's talk about the kinds of foods that can actually affect your fertility levels. There was a big study done and that study is called the Harvard Nurses Study. And what they did, they looked at 18,000 women over an eight year period and they noted all their meals. What they found was really shocking. Because a single serving, just one serving of meat a day, increased their, 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 their chances of infertility by 30%. And this is specifically the case with poultry. And quite often people say, well, I don't eat red meat, I eat white meat, I eat poultry. Well, actually, poultry proved to be even worse. And it actually increased their risk of infertility by 50%. Fish. Well, some people say, well, I don't eat meat. I eat fish. Uh, fish is still meat. Plus, it actually lowers the sperm count in males. So it's again, you know, this process doesn't involve just us ladies. We have to have a partner. We have to, to you know, we, we have to have uh, also a male involved in the process. And it's important to have the, the health of the male is just as important as the health of the female. Mm -hmm. These are official recommendations. The Harvard Medical School now recommends you replacing animal protein with plant protein. Animal protein with plant protein to increase your chances of conceiving a child to, to boost your fertility. And when you start eating a whole foods plant-based diet, when it's got lots of raw foods, fresh fruits and vegetables and fresh produce in it, you will be consuming an abundance of disease fighting, of hormone balancing nutrients that are going to help your body get to its optimum state of health so you are able to conceive a child. 
So it is very important for you to switch to a lifestyle that helps you conceive. And this is a whole foods, plant-based diet with raw foods, plenty of raw foods in it. And the good thing about this lifestyle is that it automatically excludes all the nasties, all the, you know, things like hydrogenated fats, carcinogenic foods. It excludes processed foods. It excludes processed sugar and salt and flour and uh, all kinds of other, you know, cholesterol also, all kinds of other things that can contribute to your health issues. It does need to be balanced. So it needs to have healthy ratios of carbohydrates, of proteins, of fats, with your fat consumption being healthy, but not high, between 10 and 15 percent of your total daily calories, and also packed full of fiber, which we, it will be by default, and need a lot of um, plant whole foods, then your diet will be rich in fiber naturally. And of course, also a healthy ratio of omega-3 and 6. So if you have that base, that's that diet, that's lifestyle in place, this is where your body can start cleansing itself. It can start reversing imbalances that you're experiencing and it can start repairing the health issues that you are going through. Now, I promised to talk to, to talk about weight and how it affects your fertility. Well, unfortunately, obesity is on the rise in our world. And it's just enough to look around and see the amount of obese people that, that we see around us and the, the amount of overweight people. Well, ladies who are obese and overweight have much higher risk of not ovulating and experiencing problems with their fertility. And actually men who are overweight and obese, because we need guys, as I said before, we need guys in this process, they are three times more likely to have lower sperm counts and also obese or overweight men usually have High, uh, lower testosterone and high estrogen levels, which again imp is important when it comes to hormonal health. So it is very, very important to get into your ideal weight before you conceive a child. And if you're struggling to conceive, if you haven't been successful with, with conceiving a child or going through a full-term pregnancy, then it's, it's really, really important to get to your healthy weight. So what are some of the key steps that you need to focus on to improve your fertility, to boost your female fertility? Well, the first and really important step is to make sure that you cleanse your body. So make sure that you commit to a lifestyle that is cleansing. So I'm not talking about a three day or seven day cleanse or, you know, 21 day juice fast that you do and then you go back to the lifestyle that brings toxins into your body. You really need to commit to it. And especially if you're going to conceive and go through pregnancy, it's so important for you to be consuming the foods that are not bringing toxins into your body. Because although a placenta can filter certain toxins out, it cannot fil filter every single toxin out. So it is important to minimize your exposure to toxins. Also getting enough vitamin D, balancing your gut, and to make sure that you clear out any pathogens or parasites that can be preventing you from getting pregnant. And of course, making sure that you commit to a healthy lifestyle so you eat healthy and you live healthy and you exercise and you sleep well and you meditate and you think positively, so a combination of factors that also affects our health. Ladies, We've got responsibility here for bringing healthy children into this world. And if it is your choice to have a child, then it is absolutely vital to focus on the steps that are going to help you get yourself into optimal health and then also bring a healthy child to this world. So it is, in the most cases, it is within our control and influence. And what we put into our body, the lifestyle that we lead is something that affects our fertility. You have the power. Stay committed, stay on track with your goals. And if you want help with creating a plan that is going to help you heal naturally and is going to help you balance your hormones, boost your fertility, and also go through a healthy pregnancy, reach out. Let's jump on that free health discovery call and let's see what's possible for you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please like it, please share it with other people and leave your fertility and pregnancy stories in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Eat sweet, 
keep fit and I will see you again in our next video. Bye for now.